Hi. So as far as I understand, what you want is say, for example, name one, you select title one, the name two should only show title two and title three, right? So if you select title two in name one, the name two should only show title one and title three. And if you select title three for name one, then they should only show title one and title two. Now there, this is uh, possible and I'll show you how to do this. Uh, so first what you need to do is open a new Google spreadsheet using uh, sheets.new. And then what you can do is you can click on extensions, add-ons and get add-ons. Uh, once this screen is loaded, you can search for Goofy Forms and then install this add-on, okay? Because I've already installed it, so I can just uh, uh, go over here and then find this Goofy Forms and then I'll do load from template. So what, I'll, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to load a blank template so that I can use this spreadsheet as a uh, So let me show you how easy it is. Once it is done, then let's say you want to change name one to John Smith. Then you just change it on your spreadsheet and on the form, uh, it will automatically be changed as John Smith. Okay, so uh, what I'm trying to show is that this is changeable from the Google spreadsheet. So any changes you make on the spreadsheet is directly reflected on your form. So the form is created out of the spreadsheet. So once the template is uh, this, you, you can select any form template. There are thousands and thousands of form templates, but for this one, I'm just going to select uh, this template and I'll do load selected template. Now, once I click on that, you'll notice on the bottom, it will create this instructions, settings, questions, responses, and dashboard tab at the bottom over here. Now, if you want, this is completely free, 100% free to generate questions and store answers. That means uh, if you want that form, you can have it for uh, free. You just need to install this extension. And uh, if you want users to upload files, then you have to pay a nominal fee. Uh, also, you can uh, automate this spreadsheet to send emails to you, yourself, your team member, or even to respondents, whoever fills the form. Uh, you can also generate documents. Uh, this is useful when you want to generate invoices or things like that. Uh, so for this one, I just want to show you the how I created that thing. So I'll just go to, into the questions tab. And these are all the questions that are there. Let me just cross this out. So I'll just delete all these questions and I'll add my own question. This is a drop down, and I will say name one and uh, answer required. I'll say yes, this is a complement uh, compulsory question. <clears throat> and in options, I can put uh, test one, test two, and test three, like that. So what does what that does is it will show a drop down with name one and let me show you how that works. Okay, so I'll just refresh this spreadsheet. And once I have refreshed the spreadsheet, uh, I will see the school fee forms. So I'll do get link. It will ask me for the authorization. I will select the account from which I want to run this form and then I'll click on advanced and I'll click on allow. So what this does is it gives me access. It gives me this link and this is the link to the form. So whoever you want to collect responses from, you just send this link to them. And whenever they visit this link, they will see your form. Okay, this is uh, hosted by Google, uh, uh, using your Google account. So let me show you. So you see name one appears over here, and this is uh, the three options that we put, test one, test two, and test three, right? Now what we want is we want name two to appear below it. So what I'll do is I will add 
five more rows, 50 more rows. Now say drop down. Now say name two. And the option is test two and test three. So I want to show this only when name one is test one. Okay. And I will do again drop down. And this time I will do name two, but I will add a space just to make it a different question than this one. And this time I will do test one and test three. And this is when name one is test two. So, and the last one, I will add name two. And I will add some spaces. And I'll do test one, and test two. And this is one when name one is test three. So, what will happen is it will show this question when name one is test one it will show this question when name one is test two it will show this question when name one is test three so let me just refresh and also you can it is easy to customize this form and i'll show you in just a second you can change the background color you can change the alignment everything so i'll select name one test one name two it will show test two and test three if i select name one as test two then it will show test one and test three. And if I select test three, it will show test one and test two. So that works. And let me now quickly show you how to change uh, the color and everything. So body background color is here. So if you don't like that, maybe you want yellow. Uh, so you can just select that. And uh, this is two column. It is displaying in two column, meaning it is displaying question here and answer here. So if you want that to change, you can simply uh say one column and it will start showing question and answer all in one column now if you don't want this you can simply delete it right and uh, just uh, reset this so button text is submit it is showing like that so if you want to change the color in it or anything you can just simply change it from here so for example this i want to make it yellow okay i want to make it red and this i want to make yellow so i can just do that text alignment right now it is right i'll do center to show you and i'll just refresh so you can see all the changes are automatically reflected on the form the background is now yellow and you can see it is showing the question and answer in one column so name is there and if i select test one it will show test two and test three it works like that and the submit button is also so i hope you like this too uh, if you have any questions uh, about it or if you need any more clarifications please feel free to comment on the video and if you like it please do not uh, hesitate to send it to your friends please share like and subscribe thanks